we can learn a little bit about how risk appetite increases when investors don't want to take on risk from the yen. The USD JPY cross has the drawbacks of being influenced by the overall strength and weakness of the currency. If the dollar is rising or weakening, the USD JPY will alter even if risk appetite remains the same. However, the New Zealand dollar can be viewed as a high yield currency that acts as a stand in for high yielding financial products. It is a common carry trade because of the significant central bank benchmark interest rate difference between New Zealand and Japan. As a result, the New Zealand JPY pair tends to increase when the market is going risk adverse and falls when risk aversion is prevalent. So this is the New Zealand Japanese yen chart. We're going to do a multiple time um, analysis multiple chart analysis and we're going to start off with the monthly chart so right off the back I can see you know since April of last year price has been range bound but my eye automatically points to this area here, the $78 area, and this area here, the $88 area. So I'm just going to mark that for now. And I think it already hit, as you can see. And it was this area right here. Okay, so we could say that there were monthly buyers or sellers rather at the eighty-eight fifty. And I'm gonna say potentially that there are monthly sell, uh, buyers at the seventy-seven seventy-five. Okay, let's go down to the weekly chart. Okay, so my eye is drawn to this area here. It hit, right? This is a wick over wick. So I am going to look at that on, on the daily just to see what the price structure was. And right now my eyes are drawn to this area up here where we had the a rally a base and then a strong drop in price so I'm just going to mark that off so we can look at it see what it looks like on the daily chart anything in here it's it's chop right you have to trade like on a 5-15 minute chart and you have to be trading with momentum in order to not get stopped out all right, let's go down to the daily chart. Okay, so I love this area here. See that volume candle? Strong drop in price. So we're going to say that there are daily sellers at the 87.500. So this is a no-brainer short if price was to make it back this way. No-brainer short. Short all day long. 
the daily zone is supported by and backed up by the monthly zone. So this is a short all day long. All right, let's go down to the. All right, so the price structure is okay. Obviously, it worked. Um, this price structure looks similar to this price structure, right? Um, but there's not a lot of volume here. So we'll leave it there. I won't mark it in. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. You know, what's good about this level is that as price rallied, it took out the pivot high to the left, right? So that's a, it's okay zone. We'll mark it, right? We'll mark it down. <laughs> and again, this level supported by the monthly level, so daily buyers at we'll say seventy eight fifty. Okay. Um again within this big range you also have a smaller range. So since December, price has been range bound. Potentially, if we see a breakout above the 85 level, that's an opportunity to go long until you get to the daily sellers at 87.5 right because if you break out retest resume higher there's nothing stopping price there's no sellers until we get to the daily and monthly sellers zone um, on the downside you would really need to see a break of this uh, bigger time frame range and if price was to make it down to the monthly and buyers daily and monthly zone, potentially you can take that long. So that's the analysis. Um, breakout to short. Breakdown. to go long. Those are the plays and the setups.